guys, what's up? Stuart here from Stuart Tarantulas. Thanks for tuning into my channel and into this video. Guys, I'm doing a quick video today, a short video, not really quick, but a short video on tarantula molts. I was, I'm still a relatively intermediate keeper. I was a novice and beginner keeper um, previous to that. So we all got to start somewhere in the tarantula hobby. Isn't that a fact? Well, you know, in today's video, I'm just going to do a quick, if I can say tutorial or a little bit of a guide for mostly beginners. I'd like to, because there's a lot of um, uncertainty of sexing tarantula molts, uh, sexing tarantulas, whether it be by ventral sexing or sexing the molts. But guys, I can tell you the one thing is do not go by ventral sexing. It is not accurate. You cannot always make out the spermatothor, uh, spermatothor of the female with ventral sexing. It is not accurate. And I do not, uh, I will not sex anyone's tarantula based on a ventral, a ventral molt bar. Meaning looking at it from underneath on the, on the other side of, of, of glass, basically looking at the underside of its abdomen. So to me, ventral sexing is a no, no. So the best way to sex any tarantula guys is to actually wait for it to molt, take the molt and look at it, look at look look un, look at it under a under a light, um, and and turn the molt inside out. So I, I'll show you in the video um, a good example of a molt I recently had from one of my tarantulas. So guys, please do not try and sex ventrally and do not sell and sell to the market and sell to the hobby or. Uh, trade in the hobby to say that it's suspected female or it's confirmed female when you know it's male. If you're not sure and you've got something to trade or something to sell, rather say it's unsexed because you haven't had a malt. So rather sell something that's unsexed if you're unsure of that in the market. So in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how to see a female tarantula um, sex in terms of its, um, if it's male or female, but specifically just this video, I'm going to show you a female malt. Um, I'll put an image up, um, up here, um, showing what a male would look like. Um, I'll just try and display it up here in the top left, the top left hand corner of the video. Um, that's basically what a male would look like, but specifically for this video, I'm going to show you a a female tarantula and what she looks like under a malt. So enough of me talking guys, I'm going to jump straight into the video. But before doing that, if I can ask you to please like the video, share it, and please, if you don't mind subscribing to my channel, hitting that bell notification, I really appreciate the support. Uh, I'm trying my, my hardest to grow the tarantula hobby in South Africa. And I would really appreciate the love and support for my channel. If you wouldn't mind subscribing, I would really appreciate it. So again, enough of me talking. Let's jump in and I'll show you that malt. Check it out. So here's the malt, guys, of my Brazilian giant white knee or the Acca Acana Thoscuria geneticala geniculata, sorry. Apologies for the pronunciation. Um, these Latin words can be a bit of a tongue twister. So I just wanted to give all beginners who try and sex tarantulas um, a little bit of a, a little bit of a quick one one oh one. Um I've I've had to learn myself. It's taken me quite some time to um, learn the differentiation between male and female. But for the purpose of this video, I do have a um, I do have my giant white knee who is she is now i know it's a she i'll just show you why but she is you can see there's there's my hand so it's 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 a pretty big malt uh, a pretty big spider now so she, so she's around 15 centimeters so just for a little bit of 101 just to give you some insights into the anatomy of the spider so if you i'm just going to point here so that's as you can see is it's carapace and you can see you can see the spiders the spiders eyes are still there so as in all invertebrates they have to um, molt 
their exoskeleton to grow. So this part here, if I point here, is the top half of the abdomen. Now I've got the I've got the malt legs facing down or fangs facing down. You can see down there are the the top of the fangs, so the eyes kind of sit above there. And um, if you go down to there's there's the part of the abdomen where where that is attached to the abdomen when it molts in one piece this is a this is a good fresh molt so i'll just zoom in here um you can see these are the these little white things here these little white goodies are the book lungs the lungs that the spider breathes through so this is this is the way to sex any tarantula molt whether it be a three centimeter malt, a two centimeter malt, you need a proper macro lens. But for purpose of this video, I'm using a, a bigger malt just to make to make it in you know a lot enlarged, so it's easier for you to actually see. So to actually sex this as female, I'll zoom in here so you can have a good look. Now, if I try and point here, um, let me just get the camera here. Those little, two little bunny ears that we call them in the hobby, those are, this flap here is the spermatotheca. So when the female and the male mate, so there's a spermatotheca there. So there's like a flap here. Sorry, I'm zooming in and trying to get the flap, but it's... <laughs> It's a bit difficult to yeah there you can see it there so those little like bunny ear looking things um as a telltale sign you can see the spermatotheca is there um that it is indeed a female so when they when they when they mate when they pair a male would um would go obviously on the other side and use his petty pulse and deposit the sperm within the spermatotheca from obviously from from the other side so remember this is inside out looking at the abdomen so yeah i just thought for purposes of this video to help all beginners sex a tarantula that is it right there guys that is it there right folks i'll zoom right in again you can have a good look at that so that's what you want to kind of look if it's if the, if you don't see a flap or what we call the sperm spermatheca then you know it is a male if you've got like a straight a straight sort of line going across there and not a not a flap you know it's a male and in this instance this is a female and she is probably mature now but yeah that is my brazilian giant white knee one of my one of my large females this is my second largest female so yeah i'm very chuffed with a spider it had a very successful molt so i hope that helps guys and uh for all tarantula beginners that is how you tell the difference you know how you tell if a tarantula is indeed a female so i hope that helped and there we go guys that's the molt that is the giant white knee and that is the um, she is, in my opinion, a mature female, so that is um, a sexed malt. So whether you look at the malt physically um, and you look at, and you zoom in with your if your 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 phone camera lens, uh, but if you've got a very small malt, you will need a macro lens to zoom in on that malt. And if you're not sure, just um, try and get get in contact with someone on one of the uh, tarantula groups on the tarantula whatsapp groups or facebook groups the tarantula facebook groups or even drop me a comment i'll try and help you with sexing any of your tarantulas um, drop me a message or drop me a comment uh, i'm sure to, uh, i'll definitely help you um, but yeah please just you know if, if you're serious about sexing your tarantulas get yourself a macro lens or something that can really zoom in on the most important parts are the two 
the, the upper two book lungs, that's where you're going to see whether it's male or female. If there's spermatic, spermatheca there or not, then it's a male. If there is, then it's a female. And, and you can pretty much tell that in um, tarantulas from around about two, three centimeters and upwards. So, or anything small for that matter. If you've got a microscope, by all means, you know, you can like look at something really small and, 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 and try and sex it. But rather from about two centimeters upwards, um, I wouldn't go much smaller, much smaller than two centimeters to try and sex something, especially with a macro lens. You, you probably need a microscope for anything less than two centimeters. But yeah, guys, that'll do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, give us a like, drop us a comment. I will definitely come back to you. I'll answer you. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. Uh, like I said earlier, I'm grow, trying to grow this tarantula hobby in South Africa, and I'd really love my channel to um, be a tarantula, uh, a, a tarantula channel for a lot of South African tarantula keepers to um, fall back on. And my aim is to help all the novice keepers out there and all the beginners. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a pro, and um, I'm I'm an intermediate keeper, so I'm learning as I go too. But I'm sharing my knowledge and experience, and I really appreciate your support, guys. Thanks again and watch out. I will have a video coming out real soon and I'll, I'll see you in the next video. And guys, remember, love your spider and most importantly, love your tarantulas. Have a good day. Cheers.